So it's funny, I get a lot of questions about cryptography and where to get more information about cryptography. And your best bet is to go to the source. Always go to the source. Use known good sources. For example, the Computer Security Resource Center, or the CSRC, that's part of the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Here, you will find Federal Information Processing Standards, or FIPS, publications. For example, the one for AES, the Advanced Encryption Standard. If you want to learn more about AES, go to the source. This is the publication for it. It tells you everything you need to know about AES. It defines it and it shows the math behind it. Everything you want to know about the math, well, just about everything you want to know about the math is here. And it also has some pseudocode for the cipher, which you can work with. So if you want to learn about something, go directly to the source. For AES, look at the FIPS at the uh, CSRC. Go to the NSA, the National Security Agency, and take a look at what they recommend or require, I should say, for government transmissions of data. And here's the Sweet B cryptography, shows you everything that they recommend you use, and they then point towards all those publications for those algorithms. Go to the IETF, the Network Working Group, and the request for comments for, say, Diffie-Hellman. You want to learn about algorithms, go to the IETF RFC pages. Another good one is uh, Bruce Schneier, his uh, Schneier on security. Learn more about TwoFish, which at this point is not broken. There's no successful cryptanalysis for it. Check out ThreeFish. Go to the RSA Laboratories website, which is emc.com, and uh, learn more about PKCS, the public key cryptography standards. These are all the sources for this information. And get books. Read books, for example, Applied Cryptography. Once again, Bruce Schneier. Uh, this book should be on everybody's shelf. If you want to learn more about cryptography, you should have this. There's a lot of other books that I recommend at the end of my Security Plus chapter in the CERT guide, at the end of uh, chapter 13 and chapter 14. I recommend a lot of links and books, and those recommendations are actually on the PDF on the disk. And it includes some of these things that I'm showing here. But another good book, Cryptography Engineering. Uh, this is a little bit newer than the Applied Cryptography. In fact, a lot newer. But there's some linkage between the two books. And another book that I like is called The Code Book. This is a, a more of a, a good read. It's less specific information about algorithms, but it's a great historical account of encryption and cryptography and there's actually some exercises in it as well i'd like this book so you know use books use websites go to the source find out more information about what you're trying to learn watch out for wikipedia and google and anything else you might search from because you may or may not get the correct information your best bet is to go to the source and in this case that's going to be where the publication is for the document. For example, AES here at the CSRC, or you want to go directly to the NSA or to the IETF and so on. So make sure you go to the source and look at the rest of the recommendations in my book. You know, look at all those links and you'll learn a lot about cryptography. It's just strange because I've gotten several questions about this in the past couple of weeks. And, you know, these questions come in floods, but all about, you know, where to learn more about cryptography. The Security Plus exam doesn't go very much into depth about cryptography. And therefore, my book, the Security Plus Cert Guide, does not go into too much depth about it. But uh, if you do want to learn more, this is a good place. These are good places to start.